Hey, Evan, I wanted to ask you a, a quick question about um, going back to the scrimmage last week. Um, you obviously weren't part of it, but just in that in that pregame huddle, we saw Daniel Jones break the team down there. We've seen you do that in the past. Um, what what was that experience like? You, you, I don't think Eli ever did that. So what what's it like to have the quarterback of the team in the, in the middle there doing that? Uh, I think it's I think it's really good. Um, DJ is um, just definitely growing as a leader. Um, just even just kind of for me seeing him come in from first day uh, last year. And um, just now, especially in the new offense, the new system, everything he's had to kind of learn. Um, he's definitely um, gaining confidence and I'm feeling good about the work he's putting in, the work we've been putting in as a team. And just kind of seeing him kind of take over that leadership role is a natural thing. DJ's a great leader um, by his actions and now he's starting to kind of figure it out um, vocally as well. How did you grade his uh, pep talk? <laughs> The word, his, his, the words were great. Uh, we got to work on his hand gestures and his <laughs> body language, but uh, he did pretty good for, for, for his first one. Thank you. Lombardo. Hey, Evan, how's it going, man? What's up? How you doing? Good, man. Um, kind of along those lines, not just with Daniel stepping up as a leader this summer, but uh, on the field, A, how good can this offense be with him in year two? And, and B, what gives you the most confidence that Daniel's going to make that leap from year one to year two that you've seen a lot of young quarterbacks make? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very confident um, in this offense, um, just uh, by the work we've been putting in together. Um, and as far as DJ, I feel really confident in him because I've, I've seen how hard he's been working. Uh, we were together um, in the off season uh, before everything shut down in the facility, pushing each other in, in February, January, February, and part of March. So, um, just seeing that and obviously keeping up with each other um, through through the shutdown um, and obviously the work we've been putting in since here, uh, I feel 100% confident by him and, and the momentum we're going into the season with. How much do you think he's progressed from when he first got to rookie minicamp last year you guys are now, just like on the, on the field? I'm on the field. I, I definitely see um, a lot of improvements, um, you know, literally all around. Um, his, his accuracy, um, his ball placement, um, his communication, um, just the awareness he's ha he has on some of the things they're working on as far as situational football and stuff. Um, I've, I've seen him uh, really um, improve in a lot of things. And um, I mean, obviously, he's still trying to find ways to get better. And that's the most uh, important thing. Thanks, bud. Art. Hey, what's up, Evan? What's up, Art? Um, just curious in terms of your game. I mean, obviously, we. You know, every time we talk to you, we talk to you. How healthy do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? But within this offense, now that you guys are, you know, a week and a half away from taking the field, um, with your role and compared to the last couple of seasons, how comfortable do you feel in being able to go out there and execute at the highest level? Um, you know, I, I feel confident. Um, I, I wouldn't say comfortable uh, just because I'm trying to just find ways to get better each and every day. Um, I'm definitely um, confident in, in the work we've been putting in as a tight end unit um, in our role in this offense. Uh, we're asked to do um, a lot, and uh, I think we have a great um, opportunity to really make an impact for our offense um, and, and complement all the other positions and kind of come together as a unit. So uh, me personally, uh, I'm just glad to be here at work. I'm glad to be on the field running around and, um, and, and having fun with my guys um, and just can't wait to get out there against Pittsburgh. Has it been for you, just a, a follow-up on that last part with Pittsburgh, when, when you got hurt and when you went through everything you did in the rehab process, was it a finish line of thinking September 14th, September 14th, or um, were you kind of looking to clear that before that? Oh, no, I mean, it was definitely, uh, for me, just day, day by day. Um, just getting better each and every day, um, knowing, just kind of controlling the things I could control in each moment. Um, and that was literally from the day one of rehab to, to now. So, um, like I said, uh, just being just blessed to be back out there and healthy um, and, and definitely still taking day by day, just trying to get better and get ready for week one. Thanks, Evan. All right, Pat Leonard, this will be the last question because Evan's got to run. Hey, Evan, uh, you've had a great camp, but was it tough having to watch that scrimmage? I mean, uh, how did you feel about being backed off for that? Uh, you know, 
I was kind of, I was just excited to run around in my uniform uh, under the lights and the new turf. Um, but, uh, you know, it was, it was good to just be out there, watch guys fly around, um, be a good support for the tight ends. And, um, and it was, it was a really good experience for us to kind of, um, kind of get a feel for the real thing that's going to be here soon.